Hello out there, everyone. It is me, Melody. It is November 2nd, 2018. And boy, do we have some things going on. So, I want to start out with um, some things are going on right now that the government doesn't want to tell us. Uh, as you can see, this is a New York Times post. This was uh, October 2nd, 2018. I'm showing you this picture because of what I'm about to talk about because it's pretty out there. And uh, unless you have evidence in front of your face, you may not want to leave it. So, we know that there's been leaked information. 14 tests as of late last week. These 14 tests, and no one's talking about it, these are big boom type tests, big, big bomby type tests. Um, who knows? I mean, we all watched the news the other night, right? And thing exploded, trying to cover it up. Well, they can't hide it anymore, so they're trying to lie about it. Um, and we're only hearing about this because they can't hide it. Over 40,000 troops have been deployed, and no one knows where. The families aren't being told. There is no send out going on like normal. Um, they're not even being told. Like we knew this with the Iraqi war. When we were at war that none of the, they were told where to go. National security, right? Um, anyway, um, five separate supporting witnesses have came forward about this. So far five. There's others on other channels, but this, just this certain one. Okay, so... Does this have to do with the hiring of the paid actors for the false nuclear drill? I don't know if y'all have heard about that, but there was a false flag incident that I'm not allowed to talk about on YouTube. I'll give you the initials, SH, the last one being hook. Anyway, that information, they don't want us talking about, but I'm gonna tell you, we all know it was false flag. Some people that were supposedly dead or died or killed and for those that really did lose their lives, I'm sorry for this. Um, but for those that were blasted for being liars and paid actors, um, yeah. So let's talk about that. Um, there is a there is um, a thing right now. This company that dealt with SH, we're gonna call them SH. Um, that that little uh, whatever. I can't even say. <laughs> I don't want to get kicked off. But anyway. So, um, oh, that's the wrong page. <laughs> anyway. So, um, what was I saying? Oh, here it is. So, they are using, um, they are hiring for the paid actors again. Same company that hired for the SH situation. They are hiring right now for a false, what they consider, they say it's a drill, uh, like a nuclear type drill. Um, they need these paid actors to be on the streets, looking horrible, looking bloodied, looking everything like they've really been through a tragedy. They're going to do decontamination. Um, they're going to do a whole bunch of stuff. Um, I'm sorry, but as an American citizen, um, no, 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 not on our land. You don't. I'm going to say the same thing like when they came and started doing military drills. Uh, I heard over in the area I used to grow up um, off of Hall Street that they were over there. People were having guns put in their faces. Moms coming out with their children in the mornings told, buy gun in their face to get back in the house or they were going to jail. I guess this is this is okay, right? This is, this is what they want to do to the American people. That's not okay. Um, how are we free? Also, if we cannot share this information or discuss it on or any false flags on the Internet, I mean, they've got the Internet separated into three situations. I mean, three little areas right now. We know we have one in the United States. We know China goes off of a different uh, different form of the Internet as well because they're not allowed the information that the little bit that they allow us to get and the, uh, the rest that gets leaked. So, yes, this is leaked information. So, um, you know, you heard me talk about on my channel that there was something big going to happen. Um, they're, they're just not telling it what it is. It, they're shipped to classified locations, um, and they're not going to the border. Look at this. They are definitely not going to the border. These ships and more and more and more American ships are showing up over off of China. So we have to ask ourselves why. What is about to happen? No, not telling us. And the worst is, is that they're distracting us with the mega movement. 
with everything going on with the Democrats and the Republicans and the bombs, threats and everything that was going on between them too, because they just can't get it together. You know, they, they want to act, they want to do this. And let me go ahead and tell you, when I talk about the fact that we cannot, you know, we're not free to discuss information that is, you know, freedom of speech, but I do want to go ahead and point out that does not apply to cyber bullies or stalkers or anyone out like that. Um, I noticed Hey, my stalker decided to comment underneath one of my videos this morning. Um, but, you know, you got to take it with a grain of salt. Just like these people, you got to take them with a grain of salt. Um, their speech does not matter. Why does it not matter? Because when you make up lies to make yourself look good or feel better about yourself, and it takes the process of lying or downing somebody else for this, um, you just become a pretty crappy person. Um, you know, it's just whatever. By the way, I want to take a second to ask you, how was that dinner with your wife? Yeah, how was it? Did she use the $7,000 she stole from Chesterfield County Schools? Yeah. So that would be my stalker, y'all. That's who I'm talking to. Um, he's a known pedophile in the Richmond area. His wife went to jail and got arrested for stealing from children, literally. $7,000 from an elementary school that her own child went to. Let me tell you a little something about this family. So already we hear about that. Oh, and by the way, if you look back at my older videos, I've got evidence of everything. Even go over to my playlist, evidence. It's all there. Um, you know... I only bring this up tonight because I was asked to do a voiceover for somebody and it has to do with pedophilia. Uh, someone in Hollywood's in big, big trouble. <laughs> but that's neither here nor there. You know, it brought me to the whole thing about what these people do. I know each one of y'all get these trolls. I know y'all do. Um, but this particular one, he's a nasty fella. And I mean nasty. He stands outside of gentlemen's clubs. Uh, he prostitutes himself. He has been caught numerous times, even on camera. And this is the man that wants to talk to me or talk about me. Like, you have to make sure your nose is squeaky clean to measure up to mine. Seriously, the brown nose ain't going to work either. Um, so that, you know, it, it gets to me. It definitely gets to me. Um, so yeah, people like this, I, I don't think that they deserve freedom of speech. How, what makes them think that they deserve freedom of speech? What have they done to better society? What have they done to better their own neighborhoods besides steal from their neighborhood? I mean, they, they steal from the poor. We're supposed to steal from the rich and give to the poor, not the other way around, Saunders. George, trademark, whatever the hell you want to go by, you're still the same nasty person so i hope you enjoy looking at all those screenshots you must have saved from all my videos so in case anyone's wondering why i do the blackout um i have always been told i was a really pretty girl um i most girls would think of that as a blessing but it is a curse it is a curse because it it makes me a target it makes me a target for sick, perverted, sexual individuals that want to get their rocks and jollies off by pictures or um, who knows, anything, anything. Um, I found out that this individual stalker of mine, Saunders, has had his wife, Christina, drive him to my house to fly a drone around my house. Oh, even in my garage. So this is not just online trolling now. This is... Like taking it to the to a, to a new level. Well, I'm sorry. I'm just going to say they say it's my house, so I'm gonna just keep it at that. I'm not gonna tell them where I really live. <laughs> I'm not that stupid. But anyway, you know. So with with their claims and oh, fibber and slaw, they make videos about me, but they won't talk about the fact that every time they've been asked to show evidence of anything, they have yet to show evidence. Um, I know that certain someone is knows he's about to get in trouble um, because of another little situation going on. <laughs> but, you know, that's for another day and another time. You got to look back in my older videos to actually know what I'm talking about. 
Um, so I really thank all of y'all that have stayed with my channel, that have seen right through the bullshit of individuals that want to come through. They don't want this message out. They don't want you to know the truth. People like Markland, Will Markland, he doesn't want anyone to know that he's nasty and probably a pedophile as well. I mean, he shows up on five minutes of scrubs and thinks, hey, I'm just gonna attack a girl all the way in a different state across my country because I have nothing better to do. <laughs> I mean, it's really sad. It truly, truly is. Um, but that's neither here nor there. Uh, he's already being dealt with and outed. And that will come out with the uh, the Hollywood and pedophilia ring that's going to come down. Because trust me, once this midterm election is over, it's done. It's a wrap. All those that think they might have a signed indictment out there. Yeah, if I were you, I would go ahead and either turn yourself in or move to a deserted island. Because <laughs> I promise you, I don't think anyone in the world is going to want these people in their country uh, when, when, when we show them what we know. And when, when Ed Q and all the Anons drop the ball. So, um, anyway, I know it's been quite a kind of a short night um i as i said I, i'm helping a friend with a little project of his that i am so excited to join um in fact i might even talk about him a little bit on one of my shows uh the pedophile in hollywood's name is victor salva we would know him as the gentleman sorry i'm reaching my paper as the gentleman that did jeepers creepers he was convicted as a sexual, let's see, uh, what does this say? Okay, uh, I want to say the 1988, something like that. Anyway, so I want to tell you all, please go do your own research. Don't listen to me. I'm going to go ahead and warn you. You're not going to find anything about this. Anything that I just told you about, about the leaked 14 tests, like big test. Why are they testing these big ass bombs? Huh? Why are they deploying for 40,000 people without telling anyone anything? Anything. Too bad the families are coming forward. Everyone's coming forward, writing emails. I mean, it's all out. Um, my stalker knows all about that because his husband, yes, you heard me say his wife too. Yeah, he's that freaky. His husband's been deployed and he's trying to cover it up right now because he doesn't want everyone to know that his his wife has been breaking her probation and crossing county lines without permission. All I got to say is better hope we don't find her anywhere outside of her, her county because you're a pedophile and she's a thief. You will go to jail. And for all of those that follow me, I love you very, very much. Um, tomorrow night, I will not be here for a show. It is my fiance's birthday. And uh, of course, I'm going out to dinner and doing all that fun stuff. But I will be back for a Sunday show. And I can't wait till that day. Anyway, I love y'all. Leave a comment and don't forget, please hit like and share and subscribe if you like the information that you heard. And if you want to hear more, definitely bring your bring your followers. Every like and every subscribe helps. Anyway, I love all of y'all out there. Please be safe and remember, do your own research. Mwah!